Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Global Game Jam 2021 Austin Site Showcase. Uh, we're really excited for all of you to come and see what we made this weekend. And um, I want to start things off first and foremost by thanking EGADS, the student organization at UT who helped us put on this event. Um, and especially thanks to Karina, who I have here, who set up our Discord for us. And I also have Mason here with me, who is the president of EGADS. And I wanted to ask the two of them to talk a little bit about what EGADS is. Yeah, so um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are any GADS students or know about us, but if you don't, we are a, a interdisciplinary, very passionate group of students at UT who our goal is to learn to make games and foster an appreciation for games. So we work really closely with a lot of students and uh, professors and industry people uh, at UT and in the general Austin area to uh, foster skills and learn a thing or two, answer questions, we can network. Um, we really just try to grow our members' passion and appreciation for what it takes to get into the industry and make these games and game jams. We love being a part of them. We love hosting them, um, things like that. So yeah, we, we have a Discord server. Let me pop that in the chat. Uh, you can follow, there's a link in the chat I just posted to uh, get to our Discord server, and that's where all our information is. Uh, all our events are, are talked about and hosted um, through there. And yeah. Well, even if you're not a student, you are free to join. Uh, we'd Absolutely. We'd be happy to have you. Absolutely. We, we will not turn anyone down. <laughs> um, we love the community. Uh, I've made some great friends in the club. I'm sure everyone who's in it loves it. Um, so yeah, that's. is there anything that you want to add, Karina? Yeah, if, if you're interested in EGADS, we also we host events throughout the week. Um, we have workshops, we have dev nights, which is just like a place for people to get together um, and work on game dev projects. We have speaker nights, we have people from the industry come in and talk, and we have socials too, so get to know other people, network a bit, um, and have some fun. Yeah, and speaking of our first, uh, our next general meeting and industry speaker night is going to be next Tuesday the 9th. Um, and so if you join our Discord, we'll have more information about that coming up. Um, and then I think we have uh, Dev Night this week. And um, is there a st social, Karina? Are you doing I think so, stuff? yeah. <laughs> so we'll have we'll have some of our regular events this week too, and in, in prep for our in prep for our uh, general meeting next week. So. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll turn it back over to you, MJ. Um, once again, thank you for letting EGADS be a part of this jam. Um, we had a lot of fun helping out and all the people who participated from our club. Uh, it's a great event. We love we love doing it every year. So thank you. Um, thanks for having us on to, to talk about our club as well. We love it very much. <laughs> awesome. And we are currently streaming on the EGADS Twitch channel. So if you all want to like and subscribe and see more of the great content that EGADS puts out into the world, um, and we really appreciate having the the EGADS Twitch stream to be able to broadcast on for um, showing off what we made in this weekend's jam. Um, so uh, without further ado, let me show you all some of the cool things that we made this week. So before I show uh, uh, some of the videos of the gameplay, um, I do want to take a moment to thank all of our volunteers. We had over the weekend moderators, experts, judges, and organizers. Uh, the organizers mainly working behind the scenes before the event, getting things set up. Moderators during the jam, keeping things running smoothly, and experts always around to answer questions. And our judges are hard at work deliberating right now to choose the winners. Um, so they will be joining us shortly to tell us who has won. Uh, and I also want to, of course, thank EGADS. All of the EGADS officers were so much help throughout the event. And I'd also like to thank Global Game Jam for gifting us with a Discord Nitro Boost, which helped keep our Discord running smoothly throughout. And uh, I'm very proud to say that this year we were the largest site in Texas by far. We had 213 jammers and 24 teams. It's a very exciting, very large group of people. 
You can play all of their games on the globalgamejam.org. And now a quick recap. Uh, I'm, I attempted to condense uh, the 72 hours of Game Jam into 72 seconds. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that quick recap, of all the games, everything that everybody worked on. Um, so I do want to show each team and what the hard work they put in throughout the jam. And so um, we're going to go one by one through the teams. I'm just going to tell you who they were and then show you what they made. Um, and so up first, we have Team Tropical Breeze. And I'm going to show you their game momentarily. All right, up next, we have Team Roasted Toasted and their game, ah, and their game, The Sands of Time.
And up next is Good Team Name and their game, which is called Dungeon Dinos. Oops. My apologies. Dungeon Dinos. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm slow at Streamlabs. It's a work in progress. Up next, we have Space Jammers and their game, uh, Trimbo. First spirit follower, their very presence aids, making you stronger in battle. If you seek atonement, up next is peanut butter and jelly button. And their game is called Outer Place. Hmm, Outer Place, a cooperative puzzle game. Uh, I'm gonna be player one. Alex, you uh, want to be? You want to be player two? Yeah, I will be player two. Okay. I don't know what the heck's going. on. Let me take a look at these controls. It's a photo button. Nice. Cool. Um, there's a bunch of portals with weird symbols on them. Okay. And then there's a a uh, there's some sort of platform in the center. 
with the symbol okay. I do. I'm seeing pairs of symbols on my screen. So I'm wondering if the symbol in the middle of the room and one of the portal ones match up. Uh, okay, so maybe I could describe. I have uh, one symbol that looks like a broom with a okay. line across the top of the bristly part. Okay, I think I see it. Uh, is there a symbol on the portal? It's a vertical line with kind of an, going through an S. Yep, I see it I'm going through. Okay. Uh, I see another one that's a diagonal line going mm -hmm. from the bottom left to the top right. And on either ends of the line, there's like a little flag that pops out both ends in opposite directions. Okay. Um, here it is. Um, there is there a symbol in the room that looks kind of like a the letter T, like a lowercase T with a semicircle on the left hand side of the T? Um, can you does it, oh, like before, a, does it look like an axe? Yeah, it kind of looks like an axe. Before you go in, can you uh, take a picture of it? Okay. I'm wondering if that will be useful. Um, oh, okay. We see something different over here. Oh. I see a keypad. Okay. And then there's a grid with a line with like a path drawn through it and a bunch of letters. Okay. Well, I've got a grid here that has a bunch of numbers on it. And when I light up on it uh, or when I walk on it, uh, panels will light up. Okay. Uh, maybe I need to walk through this with this path. Okay. So if you start at the very bottom, mm -hmm. if you can go three squares in okay. and that's your first panel to start on. All right, I'm on it. Okay, walk forward one step. Okay. Next is Team James Bond. James Bond, I am sorry. James Bond. And, oh, that's me. There we go. Their game is called Lost and Found, which, by the way, was this year's theme of the Global Game Jam.
The next team we have is Team Resident Sleepers. And yes, this is what they actually look like. Their game is called Heartstrings. All right, the next team we have is, we swear we're not Pokemon, and their game, which is called The One Cheek Sneak.
The next team we have is called, have we worked together before? I think yes. Their game is called Archaeologist. The next team is called RBGs or Herbages. Herbages. I don't know. Here we go. Their game is called Illittles. Illittles? Illittles. That was Illoodles, and the next team we have is Bam, and their game, which is called Scrum's Escape.
Next team is Supreme Deluxe Commanders. And their game, which is called Island of Origins. Or, or, origins. Origins. Islands of Origins. So in Island of Origins, we are flying a Zeppelin that is about to crash in stormy weather. So we're crashed, but we're all alone. So the main character, Michael Angelo, he is alone. His friends, Maximus, Code, and Ari, are lost. They are very likely in the pyramids. So we have two objectives here. One is we need to repair the Zeppelin, for which the spare parts can be found in the tombs. And the other one is to find our friends. Now, the tombs, they are dominated by boss fights. In order to defeat the bosses, we first need to have a large enough party. So for that, we enter the pyramids. Pyramids have mazes that are procedurally generated. We need to find the exits before the timer um, counts down to zero. Oh no, it looks like we may not make it. We have four seconds left. And oh, there we go. The dungeon collapses. Okay, so what happens when the dungeon collapses? When the dungeon collapses, we need to find a new way. So basically, a new dungeon gets procedurally generated where, for which we need to find the exit. So this is the puzzle aspect of the game. Luckily, we found it much easier this time. Here is the exit, and we find our first friend, Vote. Now that we have Vote, we are able to start one challenge. Let's go for the first boss fight. This boss fight is against Flaming Hippo. We still need to find more of our friends to fight the other bosses. So yay, we defeated Flaming Hippo. And Flaming Hippo dropped the navigation device. The navigation device we are able now to use for our Zeppelin. Okay, while we're here, let's find a new friend. Help us with other boss fights. Let's go to the second boss. Second boss. So there's a total of three bosses and three dungeons to find our friends. And then we are able to find all the parts for the Zeppelin and fly away into a next adventure. Thanks you all for, for watching. This was Team Supreme Deluxe Commanders. Next team is Gumboot and their game Heidi Little Little Heidi Heidi Woods Little Heidi Woods. There we go. Little Heidi Woods.
the next team is called the Nameless Bastards. And their game is called One Bot's Trash. Our next team is called The Pajamers, and their game is The Long Rain. Thank you. 
The next team is the Wayward Flame. Uh, however, I unfortunately don't uh, have a video recorded for them, but I wanted to show you all their lovely faces and tell you how hard they worked. They did a wonderful job. And the next team which I have a video for is called Candy Corn Knights, and their game is called The Last Spaceship. And last but not least, we have several solo jammers who have completed a number of projects. And um, I am going to show those one at a time. So we have first uh, a game called Froggy Night. <laughs>
The next one is called Uniteddy by Jimmy. All right, and the next game is called Shirobi Metal Ninja, and this one is created by Noah. The next game I have for you is called Vengeful Soul. This one is by Seth.
The next one is called Speed Word Search. This one is by Simon. Here today, it's called Speed Word Search. It's a multiplayer online word search game. So uh, to start the new game, you hit begin new game. And then it opens up the lobby. Um, you can join the game by clicking join. And so I'm gonna put in my name. And then uh, you add the invite code, share it with a friend. So I'm gonna open up a new tab and then copy this invite code in. And then I hit go. So that joins me into the lobby too. So I have my, my two players, so I can join. And let's call this other guy uh, Bob. <clears throat> so when both are ready to start, you just hit the Start button, and the word search is filled in. Um, and that's when the time begins. So the first person to get the most words by the end of all the words being found wins the game. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's the gist of it. So now we have to find a word. So there's a word. And once you select it, it shows up on both, um, both boards. So if another guy selects it, let's see if we can find another word. There we go, boy. But yeah, it's in real time. You can see the live score. And once the game is complete, you see the uh, who wins at the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. And finally, we have Substring by Matthew. <laughs>
All right. And uh, I wanted to, to end, since we have about 40 more people here uh, with us, I did want to show the um, 72 hours in 72 seconds one more time for those of you who just joined us. And then we will be announcing the awards. So stick around for 72 seconds longer and you'll find out who won. Hey, so uh, we're going to switch over to doing awards. Um, so thank you all for watching all of the Jammers hard work. Uh, thank you, Jammers, for all of the hard work that you did putting in. Those were some amazing games. Very exciting uh, and very excited to see who won. I don't know yet. I'll be surprised. Um, so um, drum roll. Uh, there we go. Awards. Our first award is for the trickiest tech. And our winner in this category was peanut butter and jelly button. Good job, peanut butter and jelly button. The next award was for amazing art. And our winner for the category of amazing art is the RBGs. Congratulations, RBGs, on amazing art. Next, we have Superior Sound. And our winner for the Superior Sound category is Matt with Substring. Congratulations, Matt, on amazing or Superior Sound. <laughs> Our next winner is for Novel Narrative, and the winner for this category is The Pajamers. Congratulations, The Pajamers, on Novel Narrative. Our next category is Gratifying Gameplay. Our winner for this category is The Resident Sleepers. Congratulations on your Gameplay Award. This category is called Laser Focused Lone Wolf. And this category is for a solo jammer. And it goes to Seth with Vengeful Soul. Congratulations, Seth. We have a couple of honorable mentions. And uh, one moment, let me switch my audio. Tyler would like to speak. Yeah. Uh, they, wait, wait, so wait. OK, they can hear you now. I'm sorry, you were <laughs> muted. Go ahead. So there was a lot of really good games this year. Uh, it took us quite a while deliberating. There was a, a ton of super close ties for the awards that we've talked about. Um, so these honorable mentions are from each judge, a particular game that they loved. Um, you know, these were ones that were a lot of, they came in second in multiple different categories and we just couldn't figure out where to put them. Um, so each judge kind of had a game that they really loved they wanted to talk about. So that's these honorable mentions. Uh, the judges, some of them are chilling in the chat. So uh, yeah, without further ado, MJ, if you want to go through the honorable mentions. Sure. Thank Would you. you like to read them off or do you want me to read them off? Uh, I can, but I don't see the screen anymore. So why don't you go ahead and do it? Oh, okay. I don't see the screen anymore either. Here we go. Now everybody sees the screen. All right. And honorable mentions. It's not going. Uh, there we go. Uh, JM's award for retro goodness goes to Froggy Knight. 
Jake's spiciest physics award goes to Tropical Breeze. Zainab's award for direction and narrative goes to Wayward Flame. John's Did It Right award goes to Shirobi Metal Ninja. Tom's award for most polished, uh, most polished to Frog Fur <laughs> goes to Froggy Knight. Tristan's Turing Award goes to the Nameless Bastards. And Justin's Multidimensional Award goes to Roasted Toasted. And Tyler's Award for Juicy UI goes to Candy Corn Nights. Congratulations to all of the honorable mentions on your various awards. We have one more, a uh, couple more just uh, awards real quick. Uh, I have one for the Marvelous Moderators, and here they are. Uh, this wonderful group of people helped keep the jam rolling throughout, keeping the Discord running, answering questions, forming teams for people, making things happen. Congratulations to the Marvelous Moderators on a job well done. We have the excellent experts. This, this group of folks answered questions from audio to technical questions to art questions and even design and production questions. So thank you, excellent experts. And the jovial judges, and you have just seen their hard work. This is your, your jovial judges. Congratulations on a job well done on being judgmental and picking the winners. And it wouldn't be an award ceremony with an overall winner. So we have outstanding overall. And in this category, the winner, who I also don't know, is... What? I didn't put the slide in here. This is... Okay, sorry. I did not do that. Somebody tricked me. You didn't see that. Gumboot, congratulations, Gumboot. <laughs> oh, amazing job, a standing overall Gumboot, great job. So thank you judges for um, picking the winners and telling us who they were. Thank you eGads for hosting us. Please subscribe to the eGads Twitch channel and watch all their cool stuff. Thank you Jammers for making amazing things and for letting us see it. It has been a, a real blast. And uh, thank you all for tuning in and watching our showcase and uh, go play all of the games. They are all on globalgamejam.org. Everyone would love it if you would download and play their game. And they are all awesome games. So I'm sure you can't wait to play them yourselves. Um, thank you all. Any final words from Tyler or Mason? Yeah, just shout out again to you for running this. I know it was tricky, especially on Discord, trying to keep this all going. Uh, and I, I'm sure it happened before, but special thanks to all the EGADS folks for making the Discord exist, because that was a crazy complex bit of shenanigans to make it run so smoothly. So well done, MJ. Well done, EGADS. Y'all killed it. Thank you both very much. Thanks again for including EGADS. Um, it was great for us to be part of this jam. Um, jamming and helping out on the back end, we love being a part of the greater um, scene, game dev scene in Austin. And so it was great to be with everyone and, and great to help out and looking forward to it next year. All right, thank you both. And thank you all for watching. I'm going to uh, switch it over to the 72 hours and 72 seconds to close this out and that'll be it. Have a great evening, everyone. Go get some sleep. You jammed hard. You deserve some rest. Take it easy. Thank you.